Hi guys, this is coming from uh, the section of Avon Street that connects Ewing with the Villa Deborah. This house that's so dear and beloved to so many of us is uh, going away apparently. Um, as is unnecessarily this hundred year old sidewalk or curb, which is the same as the curbs. Literally hundred in this street, this concrete street, which I've been concerned about during all of this, but really my main priority is the air quality, the unnecessary um, lack of cleaning up after yourself every day, which would totally fix the air quality problem. All I'm, all I'm asking to start with is just clean up after yourselves, guys, every day, please. You have intimate neighbors and people who I watch clouds of your dust settle over. I'm going to leave it at that, even though there are some damages that are new to this 100-year-old street. I'll point them out because of the low boy dragging and the lack of uh, attention to the historicness of the street. I think the biggest, newest crack That is brand new. She's holding it together barely. Too many more low boys dragged on their metal wheels. Just unnecessary. Could just do damage to the point where it's no longer worth saving. Okay. This is not original. Mitch O'Farrell fixed this because it was one of those streets that was basically almost impassable. With some local help. While he was the field deputy for Mayor Garcetti, who was the city council for this district, he made it happen and he made it good. Hi, little doggie. You're so cute, but you think you're so tough. You're tough or cute, which.